Good morning, good morning, good morning. The Lord bless each and every one of you for coming to this channel. I pray that your life will never be the same again. From glory to glory, the Lord is changing you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today we are talking about living reality. Living reality. Living a life of reality. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. We magnify your holy name. We exalt your holy name this morning. Father, I bring my spirit when I'm subjected unto the Holy Spirit. Pray that you will speak through me and you will bless my hearers in the name of Jesus. There will be transformation to the glory of your name. Lord, you prepare the table before them in the presence of their enemy. They will call them to you from the back of the table this morning. Lord, their life will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you. This morning, I'm really talking about living a life of reality. God has called each and every one of us to live a life according to his purpose and plan. God wouldn't want each and every one of us to live aside his will, aside his purpose. The Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. That was the essence he came. The Lord gave me this message and since I've been nudging me to share it, so I've decided to share it now. So, I'm taking my test from the book of John 1, by the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. Last year, we talk, I talked about certain things my persecution what i'm going what i'm going through and all those kind of something but thank god god is in control thank you lord jesus thank you jesus hallelujah thank you jesus so you be all the glory the lord has called you to the banquet table his banner over you is love he has called you believe you are a child of god you have been recreated in his image so he has called you to his banquet table, relax and eat. No matter the circumstances, Sande Kaye Ndorebo Skalaboshi, Maskande Ndorebo Chande Karaba, Beka Ileka Indelebo Skalaba. The Bible says he prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemy. The table is there, so feel free to eat from the banquet table. Why? Because his banner over you is love. He has called you out of darkness into his marvelous love. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's on his table. It's on his table. There is a fire. Fire on his table. There are very things, various things on his table. The fire, the blood of Jesus, whatever is your needs, they are there. Just pick whatever you need. That fire is to is to destroy anything that exalts itself against you. It's your fear. They said if you God is able to destroy it with his fire, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost is our weapon against the stronghold of darkness. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. John 1 10 say it was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He was in the world. The world was made through him. And the world did not recognize him. He was there. He came. Christ was the revelation of the Father. Christ. He was the revelation of the Father. He came, but the world did not know him. But one thing that kept him going was the focus. Why he came. His purpose. His purpose. His purpose. That was like a magnet between him and the father together was a madness because he knows that when he fulfill his purpose god's name will be glorified will be exalted will be magnified because one thing the devil does he doesn't want god's glory he doesn't want the glory of god to be reflected in your life i pray for you today whatever you are going through that you will hold on you will hold on you will live the life of reality you live a life of purpose you will live a life that the power of God will so shield you that the enemy will not be able to penetrate into your life. Praise the Lord. He was in the world. Look at the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords came. The creator of heaven and earth 
came. The Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. Jesus is the word of God. He came for the world, the world, the world, people around him that did not recognize him. He was in the world and the word was made through him. The word was made through him. The word did not recognize him. They did not recognize him. They, they, they did not take him as he was like, who, who is he? Who is he? We all know the story. Who is he? They did not recognize him. He came to that, that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. But so I said, yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. As many that receive him, as many that receive him, he came to his own. His own did not receive him. So I don't know what you are going through today. It might be rejection. It might be oppression. It might be opposition. He went through it. He went through it. It is the grace of God. Because, um, but one thing I have to say, in Christ, in Christ, when you are in him, let everything about him be an uh, embeddement. In the sense that live your life that is acceptable unto him. Live a life to bring glory to his name. Live a life of love. Don't torment other people. Don't say, I can do it. Nobody, nobody, nobody sees me. Nobody knows me. But God sees. And he's going to reward everyone according to his purpose. According to what you have done. He reward them according to his purpose. His purpose. Let's, lost, let's live our life according to his purpose and plan. I was in a course in December 15. And when the, 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 when the lecturer, I would say lecturer was preaching and uh, was, was saying certain things that we should say guide one another, we should protect one another. It's very, very important. You don't bring people down because you are stirring up that um, negative, because we have both positive and negative emotion. You are stirring those uh, negative emotions. The joy of the law is my strength. Why will you dash the joy of someone and you are happy in order to gain supremacy? I want to say we shouldn't be doing as a Christian. Don't personify somebody. And, uh, personify. Don't take the position of somebody and say, I will do it. They will think it's their person. No. It's wrong. It's a criminal, it's a criminal offense. You shouldn't do it. Even as a Christian, we are the light of the world. A city set upon the heat that cannot be broken. A city set upon the hill because we are there with him, seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, far above all principalities and power. We are not of this world. We are not of this world. We should not live according to the world because the pressure is getting worse, worse on daily basis. That of, except for those who are firm in the word of God. The Bible says, If that ticket is standard, let it take heed least to fall. It will fall back. The pressure is getting worse, worse on a daily basis. The way it was 15 years back, 10 years back, it's not like that now. Maybe we have to take your stand. Will you not yield to pressure of life and live a life that is contrary? He came to his own, his own did not recognize him. But as many that receive him, he gave them the power. They receive him. There has to be a reception. There has to be a, a flow. As I said last week, can two work together except they agree? As many that receive him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God. If you don't receive him, you cannot be. You have to believe and have faith and confidence that it's more than able. We that are the Gentiles, the ones that didn't receive him, they, 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 they ignored him, they didn't receive him. He came to his own, his own people receive him. He said, um, a prophet is not recognized his own time. He said it himself. They didn't receive him. But as many the Gentiles who received, he gave them the power to become the sons of God. He gave them the power. They were now drifted in because of their faith in him. And he now imparted his righteousness upon each and every one of us. So I don't know what you are going through today. Just believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Let's learn to follow God the way God has ordained. Not pretending and pretending I say nobody sees me or if I do it, I'll go and ask God for forgiveness. No. No. 
we are called to abide in him at all times so that we can draw and be fruitful and be fruitful the fruits of the Holy Spirit will abide in us it should be something to crave for because I tell people whatever whatever you are doing the devil can counterfeit can do it but it cannot obey the devil cannot obey the word of God we all know the the time when Moses and where the Israelites were in Egypt what Moses was doing what Moses, uh, the, uh, the Pharaoh was doing and um, and uh, Moses as well Moses would do you know Pharaoh would do his own but it is the fruit the fruit of the Holy Spirit that makes the difference that makes you to know that this is it this is God that is at work praise the Lord to as many that receive him he gave the power have you received him have you accepted him how are you behaving what is your attitude towards others what are you doing are you opposing are you oppressing are you downtrodding others as a sign that oh that i'm in, I'm in control no God has not called us into that, into that line. Let's change our ways. I pray to God every day, Lord, change me. I want to live a better life. I want to live a better life. I want to live a life that is acceptable unto you. I want to live according to your purpose, according to your will. Empower me to die to myself because it's that endemic nature. That that is it. When the, when the legend was speaking and it was, it was like talking and relating lecturing ah uh, i was i just i was i was crying within i said this is the bible it says it's against the law it's against the law you cannot say you want to enforce your we all have a right it's only when someone is is not capable the meta capacity it, it doesn't have a meta capacity that is the only when you can say Okay, I will take over room one to be in control. You become the parent of that person. But when that person has a makeup, a mental capacity, why will you want to take over the, the will of that person and say it has to be your own will? Taking, taking over the rights of that person. It's against the law. It's against the law. It's against the law. You can only do that when that person is self harm that's why I say the mental capacity of that person is half harm, trying to hurt himself, do one thing or the other then you cannot say okay, this is it and you are covered, but when some other person is having the mental capacity, you are saying it has to be your own way, where is the Holy Spirit, the Bible says as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God, as many that are led by the Spirit of God they are the sons of God, we are believers, Christ was the revelation of the Father we, the believer, are the revelation of Christ by His grace. To as many that receive, we have received Him. But those who didn't receive them, receive Him. We received, and He has given us the ability to become a child of God. We have equal rights before the Father. Praise the Lord. It doesn't mean we, don't, we are not called to respect those in authority, but those in authority should not misplace misplace priority and, and misplace uh, what do I call it and then um, use their opposition to oppose oppress no no I said I went for it was three and it was almost three hours I was sitting down listening the one in November I was just crying that one I was crying I said God I keep telling people this uh, our the Bible the word of God is what the whole system the soul established all over the world is using yeah do no harm don't do that don't do that you don't hurt people emotionally and uh, i hurt people emotionally create discord set trap strategize and all manner of evil and that is no god it's against the law and when you are caught is 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 you 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 go for it it's against the law you don't do that at all I don't know for that, but as far as I know, it's a great law in this place. <laughs> so I, 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 by great nature, where I do my training, the list is already at now. You have to, it's really something you have to, you have to know. So if I know and I listen, then somebody now stand there and say, no, 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 no. Don't push me to come and do what I don't want to do. 
Because the Bible says endurance, endure, we have to endure. I have endured enough. Praise the Lord. As many that are receiving, to them he has given the power to become the sons of God. I, I say this thing because um, by the grace of God, we all know Christ went through a lot of things. He endured and he was focused on what God has called him to do. Praise the Lord. He focused. Something led me to preach the, the preaching last week and what I'm saying. I said I was on the street. I will hold trust on my hand. I usually do that when I'm wearing, if it's winter, it's cold. I put the trust on both sides. I'm walking and I just, I'm sharing the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. I do that. I've been doing that for almost three decades now. So it's part of me. People now know me that it's, already, it's part of me. And you are not saying, are you, are you, are you born again? Are you, I know, are you a Christian? Are you all right? Are you all right with your... You saw people are coming, you saw me coming, and the, the response of people, and I get into you, I give you a try, you know, say, I have to, it has to be, uh, that, uh, uh, who is your father? Uh, this bishop is my father. I said, look at this one. And I didn't, this thing happened last year. I didn't say, what. The recent one that happened last week, normally if I go online, I just listen what they are doing online. I don't, I don't put my... I don't say amen, I don't say I'll just be there, I'll just be say amen inside of me. I don't put my hand on the screen and do that. I don't do it. For a reason best known to me. A lot that last week I saw, I just happened to, this is what prompted me last week to do my recording. I say these people again. And uh, I just say amen and amen. And I saw my amen was just, it just vanished. I, I didn't say a word. Number you see it going when you say man, you see it going like that. And I did the second one again. It just somebody just just deleted it. Ah, I, I say, what is all this now? I just I just stop and I say never, never. So you are you the same you are here again. What is it? He said, what is what is it? That was why I said ah. You, you place a cause that I cannot do establish a church. How can you place a cause on me that I cannot establish a church? That's not, it's, that's not, a, that's not, God, that's not Godly. You are not God. The thank God that reversed that cause on his head. And now you are here again and say, ah, I say, okay, okay, okay. I just said to myself, I pray. I don't do any other thing apart from prayer. So, I'm studying my Bible and just doing my things. As the Holy Spirit leading me. If I'm here just to honor the person who now sent me a link, I just me just honor. It's not out of honor because I've already prayed. And I said, okay, if that is the case, you are here, okay. I just kept mute. Last time, uh, was it 2022? Last year was 2023, 22, and I started sending messages on my on my Facebook. And uh, before I traveled to Nigeria and I came back, I couldn't send any message again because they saw it going the way it was going now. I couldn't, I, thought, I was wondering. I phoned for Facebook, they tried to help me, they did all they can. I was like, it wasn't them. Something happened. So I just left it. I said, it doesn't make any difference to me. I still go on, on my normal duty on the street. By the grace of God, God helping me. And then, before I know, know it, Facebook now set another by themselves. I said, because the one I was doing is money. I can spend my money. I said, no, I'm not spending my money. I spend, I'm not spending my money to do something. It's not the first time, not the second time. This is the third time. No, I'm not going to do that anymore. And now I'm on another person page. You came again. Ah, Jesus is Lord. And this is the this is the trust I was holding. Can anybody see this trust? Jesus is coming back again. This is the trust I was holding. Can unbeliever be giving this out to people, or can somebody who is occulty be giving this out to people? He people, the people, there is a saying. The Bible said, "My people perish because of lack of knowledge." You can't be giving out this to people on the streets. That Jesus. I am coming back again, Jesus. Is it possible? And this we are giving to all nations, all kindred. It's not calling my friend to the church now. 
you are on giving out to all nations, all kindred, on the street. And I came to you. I said, Jesus loves you. And I started talking. So that is that is the that is the thank God for everything. Jesus went through it. He went through it. He came to his home. His own know him not. As many that received him to them, he gave the power. Those who welcome him. Those who welcome him, who appreciated him. We are the Gentiles. So he gave us the power to become the sons of God. Praise the Lord. If you look at the book of uh, Isaiah, thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 53. Who has believed our, our message? To whom it was, was as the arm of the Lord be revealed? You grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a shoot out of dry ground. This is Isaiah 53. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. He had nothing to attract people. He was despised. He was humiliated. He went through a lot. But he focused. That was how, that's why there's Christianity today. Praise the Lord. Nothing in a, in a prayer that we should desire of him. Verse 3 says, He was despised. Is it? He was despised. And rejected my mankind. Just like me. I've been despised, rejected. Sowing a seed of discord in me. It became a travel, a travel war. All kind of something. I said, God, what it be this one like this now? What is this now? Even become a tribal something at my place of work. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. I said, God, over to you. What is what is going on? What is this? Is what this is Christian? I read my Bible. I just found this in the Bible. It's contention and all everything. So let the enemy that contend and the devil, the God's Bible say, I will contend with those who are contending with you. That's what the Bible says. I will fight against those who are fighting up against you. I will take up devilin against those who have risen up against you. That's what the Bible says. Why this contention? I said, God, what is all this? I just endure only to come online again. And uh -uh, Jesus is Lord. Though. He was despised and rejected by mankind. This is Isaiah. He was despised and rejected by mankind. A man of suffering and familiar with pain. It caused me a lot of pain. I just endure. Nobody can tell me, oh, she doesn't have blood. She have not. I have. I have. I just endure. So I'm just praying that God help me. We draw strength from one another. So if somebody goes online, you are drawing strength. I, I, subs I subscribe to a lot of people, men of God. I listen to them. You draw strength. So why is yours uh, different? I don't know. If I can't draw strength from what you are doing, I don't even look there. I don't go there. At least this morning, I was listening to uh, uh, Mama Joyce Myers. I was listening to her, uh, her tape this morning on YouTube. Then the Lord just brought somebody else um, to my mind. And I said, okay. And I listened. And I was able to get, I was able to understand why God drew me to this person. And the only message I listened to, I was able to draw from it, from, from that message. So that is it. As many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. They are the sons. It's God leading and guiding. If God says, go this way, okay, we need to be led by the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. He was, um, he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom... People hide their faces. He was despised. And nobody was said in low esteem. He came to his home. Some did not recognize him. They looked down on him. So, but the Bible said, He went through all that we might have life and have more, more abundantly. Why are you not trying to make life? I don't know. I don't know. You need the Bible must be imbibed. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what it is. The Bible must be imbibed. I read my Bible. As I say, I go to a lot of courses. I read. I read a lot. So, and um, and uh, I thank God. Sometimes I get happy because uh, I say everything is involved in the Word of God. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Even they might try to do it the other way, he still go back to the Bible. 
Oppression is not of God. Opposition is not of God. Contention is not of God. Those are power of negativity and it's against the law. Harassment is not of God. No. So, those kind of something we need to be discarded. We are going to heaven. Heaven is, Jesus is coming back very soon. Let's, let's be careful what we do here on earth. Uh -huh. So, you mo we must be a living union with God. Let's be a living union with Christ. And not a living union with dominion, with a denomination. A living union. Kayandala boskabo. Boskan in the kalamaske. Rekanen de kunamaske lebo sende. Bekanen de robo sundo kurakayande. Le tu panske bo yande. There is no church in heaven. There is only one church. A glorious church. A church without blemishes or wrinkle. That is what the book of Hebrews says. Zande kunamaske. Makayande le boska. There is a tande kute kamaske alende. There is a physical church. There is a spiritual church. If you belong to the physical church and you don't belong to the spiritual church, you are not going nowhere. Let nobody deceive you that once you are saved, you are saved. No. This Bible says we should seek our salvation with fears and trembling. And I want to move a company of those who are seeking salvation with fears and trembling so that I will be I, 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 I will I will I will not lose God. I will not lose God because I don't want to go to hell. That is it. Praise the Lord. Let's look at the book of Isaiah. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven is real. The one of Revelation I had years back, I saw a lot of Christians. They were going. They were just going. Years back. I saw a lot. They were just going down to hell. Down to hell. I saw them because I do a Christian. But all of a sudden, I was among those young girls. A hand drew me out. Just drew me out from the line. And I woke up. I said, ah. And I started thinking, there were people I, I knew. I told them, you have to change your ways. I told them, I didn't hide it. But this is what I saw. And that hand just pulled me out from that line. And then, and I was wondering, I said, what kind of a dream? Until I bought a, a video, a, is it VHS video by Benny Hill? How he came to the ministry. He had the revelation, people were going to hell. They were in the queen, they were just going. They were following to the pit. And God, he, that preaching was in Rema, in South Africa, Rema, Rema Church. I saw that video. That was when I knew that this, this is what God was telling me. After so many years, I bought that video. And it was, it was, it was preaching in Rema, in Rema Bible, Bible, Bible Church in South Africa. That was what brought into the ministry. And in, God said, if you don't preach the gospel, I will require their blood from your hand. That was what drawing into the ministry. So heaven is free. It's not a it's not a, a it's not a game. I'm going to end with this scripture. So let's be careful. Let's be careful and let our relationship be with Christ and not with denomination. No. <laughs> There's no denomination in heaven. Don't be cajoled. Isaiah Isaiah 9. Verse 2. It's since last January, the Lord gave me, was it January or December, He gave me this scripture. When I was reading the book of John, it's my favorite book in the New Testament. And He just, as I said, how? He came to His own. His own did not know Him. I know this scripture a long time ago, but God was not, they didn't know Him. He was despised, He was rejected. So what's your problem? I said, Lord, more of your grace. More of your grace more of your grace he says stay away from every appearance of evil that's what the bible says stay away stay away from from them the bible say in the book of Isaiah 9 2 says the people walking in darkness have seen a great light the people <laughs> hallelujah the people walking in darkness remember he came to his home the jewish people he came to his home his soul know him not. But as many that receive him, like you and I will receive him, he has given us the power to become the children of God. The Gentiles have given us the power to become the sons of God. Praise the Lord. That's why he's saying, he brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light so that we can be the sons and daughters of God. 
That is it. If you have faith, all you need to do, just have faith. Ask him to your life so that your sins are cleansed and washed away. You, you become a child of God. With the heart, man believe. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. That's what the Bible says. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. They were prophesying the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the book of Isaiah. They were, always, they were already speaking of his coming. They were started speaking of his coming. If you look, if you, look, if you read the Bible through, look, be looking for Christ in the Bible. Because the Bible is always reflecting on him, on him, on him, on him, on him. If you are very, very, if you, you are very, very deep, deep and desire. If you don't understand, you go back. You will see Christ in every chapter before he's coming. The, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. Who is that great light? That is himself. Is the light of the world. A city set upon the hill that can never be hidden. If you believe in him, you are set upon the hill that you cannot be hidden. Your glory cannot be tarnished by any power, by any spirit, by any personality. They will try, but in, God knows how to dash them into irreparable pieces. Because he came for his own. I've seen a great light. And those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. That's why he came. He came to bring his own to himself. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest, that he might destroy the worst of the devil. That's why he came. To bring us out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's why he came. So that we can focus and no longer live on the past, but living in the future. Forget the former things, but they will try to tell you to no hang on there so that they can be able to they, uh, they, they can be able to, to to have control and dominion. But if you have faith and say no, 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 no. The devil might be fighting. No, you have to hold on. If you are holding on that fear, then doubt, then you don't believe the scripture. That's what the enemy wants. Verse 4 say, verse 4 say, for us in the day of median defeat, for us in the day of median defeat. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Jehovah. For as the day of median defeat, you have shattered the joke that burdened them, the bar across their shoulder, the rod of the oppressor. The Lord has dashed them to prison. The bars upon the shoulder, the shoulder, the yoke is destroyed. That yoke of fear, that yoke that tie one down to start doing things that are not convenient is destroyed. That's why he came. I'm quoting the Bible. That's why he came. I'm reading from the book of Isaiah 9, verse 2 and verse 4. That's why he came. To destroy the worst of the darkness. It has been destroyed. He has called out to walk in newness of life, reality of life. That's the topic. Walking in reality of life. Walking in reality of what he has done. Don't allow anybody to draw you back to say, no, this is not. The, the Jews did, but as many. So it's good, it's a good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to you now. But the auction on the Holy Ghost to embrace. To embrace as many that believe, as many that sees you as a child of God, you embrace them. As many that believe in your destiny, you embrace them. That's what that's what the, as many that receive you wherever you are. If you in those days when I years back, early nineties, I used when I was the, the the work I was doing, the when you visit the then. They will not, they, they will just open the door, tell you, no, 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 no. The client will just tell you, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. So my consultant will call me and say, Beatrice, this is it. There's somebody I sent to so and so address. They said they won't want, they don't allow them in. Can you go? I will go. I know how to, I will rapport with them. There's, there are ways I will do it. He will just open the door. I became very, very, the woman, the, my consultant became in love with me. Any difficult client, he will just call me. He said, go. I will just go. And I will come back with a good story. Why? The person received me. He received me. There was a flow between two of us. Because I prayed before I got there. You can't say, let me know. And before you know it, 
We start talking and chatting and chatting. And that's it. I became, we, we, we become friends. And they will say, how are you doing it? I say, oh, it's God, it's not me. So that is, that is, I'm just giving this as an example. So God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. So that's my preaching today. Lord, I've done my part. The Lord bless you. The Lord will cause his face to shine upon you for coming to this. As many that receive you, there is a flow and God's blessing flows, flows, flows. As many that receive you, to then you give power to become the sons of God. There is a reception from both sides. Trade by butter. When we do those who did economics, they are the straight by butter. There has to be a reception. There has to be there has to be a flow within in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. Lord, because it's supposed to shine upon you. You are blessed and highly favored. Thank you, Lord, for this message. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>